ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದೂರ್ಣಮುದ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನ ಪುನ ಈಶ್ವರು ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಪೋ ಜಯ ಮುಧೀರೇತ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸೂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಐ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಸ ನ ಕಾಮಾಯಮಾನ ನಿರೋಧ ರೂಪತ್ವ ಸ ನ ಕಾಮಾಯಮಾನ ನಿರೋಧ ರೂಪತ್ವ ಸ ನ ಕಾಮಾಯಮಾನ ನಿರೋಧತ್ವ ಸಿ ದ ಮಿನಿ ಸಾಮಿಸ್ ದಕ್ತಿ ನ ನೋ ಕಾಮಾಯಮಾನ ಡಿಜಾಯಸ್ ನಿರೋಧ ರೂಪತ್ವ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ನಾರದ್ ಗೇವ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಈಸೆಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರೂಪ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರೂಪ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸಲೂಟ್ ಲವ್ ಆಬ್ಸಲೂಟ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಗಾಡ್ ನಾವು ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ some people believe that bhakti is for achieve something from the god narad ji says no there are some things which have to be understood in gita lord sri krishna says o oh arjun there are four kinds my devotee there are four kinds my devotee who worship me there are four categories one is artho jigyasu artharthi jnani i repeat Lord Sri Krishna says in Gita Avarjun Artho Jigya Swarthati Jnani Cha Bharatar Sava Chatur Vidha Bhajante Maam Jana Sukritu Narjuna Lord here says Avarjun There are four types, four kinds of people, my disciple who worships me they have four qualities one is art 
Art means the one who held in Mijiris. Mijiris. Who is material state? At last, like when we reach to the doctor, doctor does whatever he can for a patient. He gives medicine. He can do surgery. He tries every way. And finally he says, now I cannot do more. You pray to God. God can do anything right now. This is not in our hands. Earth, for an example, I am giving to you an example. In scriptures, there is an example of king of elephants. Gajraj. It is a story in Mahabharata, Bhagavatam, and so many places. It is said there was a very strong elephant. Very strong. He had a big family. Once the elephant went to drink water in the pond, in a lake. And there, a crocodile comes and crocodile caught the elephant. Elephant was very strong. He had a big family. So all they make efforts to so all elephants their family members made effort to release elephant from the crocodile. Crocodile was so strong and it was in water. They tried whatever they can do. But finally, everyone left alone the elephant. He became alone. No family. And slowly, slowly, his body became so weak. Now it is decided. Death is very near. In, in this case, he remembered the God. He prays to the God. They are in very big Mantra, Stotra, it called Gajendra Moksha. And he did, and God came and protected the elephants. This is an example. So there are so many people in this world. They try to become happy. They try to pray to God, become happy. No other one can make them happy. So Lord Sri Krishna says, this is the first category. Or then comes Jigyasu. Jigyasu who wants to know, who wants to know unknown. He has listened something somewhere in the scriptures, any master, anywhere. But he did not satisfy it. He has interest. He has interest to know unknown. So that is why he tries so many ways. And he worships God. Like Uttar. He tried to understand what God is, what God's reality is. Yeah, it's better. 
एंड थर्ड वन इज अर्थार्थी अर्थार्थी द पर्सन हु वॉन्ट्स वर्डली ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द गॉड दे यूज गॉड लाइक ए डिवाइस टू अचीव गॉड यू मे सी देर आर सो मेनी बिग क्यूज इन रिलीजियस प्लेसेस we can see there are very very big queues there are so many people big crowds what do you think they are devotee of the god no god is just a mean for them they want something worldly objects from the god someone says oh god give me a job some people in praying and saying oh god give me property i have bought a lottery ticket so please see so we want the worldly object from the god so they are arthartha the greedy person how they try to be first in temples he think he thinks if i became late things may be over so he try to be there in first place so we are three we are three are the miserable person the gyasu the one who wants to know about the god and third one is arthartha the one who wants worldly objects from the god and lastly lord sri sri krishna said last one is jnani artho vidya arthartha jnani knowledgeable person who knows god what god is lord is lord sri krishna says this gyani the fourth one is my own self my own devotee my real devotee other i okay okay if you want something from the god if you not bad it's okay if you can bake something from the worldly person you should be from the god you are not bad but you are not devout you are not devout <clears throat> so narati says sana kamaya mana nirodha rupatva the bhakti is not desirous it is not desirous god and desire are opposites wherever god is if you know this god your desires will automatically disappear if we have desires it means you don't have any experience any realization any taste of the god desire desires are proof you are godless no experience no devout they are like light in darkness so naraji says sana kamaya mana the bhakti is not desirous it is beyond desire he says nirodha rupatva its nature is nirodh control control now next take next sutra nirodhastu loka ved vyapar nyasah nirodhastu loka ved vyapar nyasah nirodhastu loka ved vyapar nyasah 
the word was given nirodha this word has to be understood what the meaning of nirodha there are so many explanations about this word naraji is giving explanation it's he says nirodhas to what is nirodha now see the meaning first separation means abandoning all worldly and basic activities nirodha what is nirodha when we read yog sutra patanjali says yoga chitta vritti nirodha patanjali says yoga means what control cessation of the modification of the mind patanjali's definition is about yoga very similar words patanjali and narad both are very similar patanjali says yoga chitta vritti nirodha yoga means the cessation of the modification of the mind narad says sana kamaya mana nirodha rupatva it is nirodha bhakti is nirodha the only difference is only difference is patanjali is talking about your mental activity patanjali is talking about your mental activity your thought process you have to stop your thought process if you want to become a yogi but narad is not going so far narad ji knows don't think about the mind god will take its care itself narad ji says nirodhastu loka ved vyapar nyasa he says don't think about the mind mind is not visible night mind is not in your in your hands how can you control it mind so power mind is so strong it is invisible it is not in your hands vice versa it got its hands whatever mind wants he may you to do the approach of the narad is very different he uses the word the nirod but in, in the level is loka veda vyapara nyasa he says you have to stop worldly and scriptural vedic activity very this statement is very very important narad ji says a sikh a devotee should have to stop the all activity of the worldly and the vedic scripture completely like patanjali is saying completely cessation of the mind is yoga narad is saying completely cessation of your worldly and adhyatmic spiritual activity now let's understand is it possible is it possible can we stop all our act all our activities in gita shri krishna says ho arjun nahi kashit chhadna bhi jat tishtap ka karm kare you cannot stop your all activity any time you cannot live even a single moment without doing anything no one can do you have to do even you are breathing you are doing something you are watching you are hearing you are doing something it is not possible to cessation of completely bodily and scriptural 
then why Naradi is making such statements which is not possible? So, let's understand. Naradi says, Nirodhastu loka veda vyaparam nyasaha. To, I would like to give you an example or make it understand to you. In Ramayana, there is a very important character Hanuman. Hanumanji, when you will learn about bhakti, you will found Hanuman. In knowledge, you will found Hanuman. So once it happened, when Hanumanji went to Lanka and he worked Lanka, he killed so many demons and he did so many harm to Ravana. And he came back with the colleagues. Hanumanji went to the Sri Ram. Hanumanji was quiet. He did not say a single word, whatever I had done. He did not say anything. He was so calm, so quiet. But there were so many other monkeys and bears like Jamman, Angar. They told Sri Ram, they said, Oh Ram, do you know what Hanumanji did there? He went lunk in front of the Ravan. He killed so many demons. He destroyed his very beautiful a garden. He saw Sita. He did so many impossible work, works. Rama smiled and looked at Hanumanji and said, Hanuman, is it true? Have you done this all work? It is almost impossible. Ravan is so strong, even gods cannot dare to go Lanka. No one can challenge Ravan. It is so powerful, so strong. And they are saying, you went to Lanka and you did so and, and so and so. Rama was smiling. Now listen Hanumanji. Hanumanji says, Oh Lord, I am just a monkey. And monkey is good for running in the trees. Monkey can jump from one branch to another branch on the tree. Monkey can jump another tree to another tree. This is my capacity. Monkey is made for only for that. I am very comfortable in tree branches. I can jump from this branch to another, to another, to another. I have so much strength. But whatever you are saying, burning Lanka, killing demons, and so many impossible things, a monkey cannot. How can a monkey do that? But it has happened. So I didn't. This all has been done by you. You were working through me. You were working through me. You made you made me. And it has happened. I am not responsible. I am not doer. You are the doer. I am just, Lord Sri Krishna says, Nimit, device. Just Nimit. Lord Sri Krishna says, Arjuna, Nimit Matram Bhavasab Bisachin, Arjuna, just become a device. I will do. So God is doing everywhere. You are just a device. Naraji is saying here, 
a devotee should make understanding that I am just a device of God. God is doing through me. He is within me. Multi-purpose. Whatever purpose he wants, he is making me. I am not doing I am just device. So it may be bodily activity or it may be Vedic activity, spiritual. That is why in our scriptures there is written Kaye Navacha Manasindra Irva Udhyatmanava Prakriti Sabhava Karomi Yadyat Sakalam Parasmai Nara Yanai Isamar Paita. The seeker, the devotee, is saying to God, O oh God, whatever I have done through my eyes, through my body, my mind, my intellect, knowingly, unknowingly, these all are I am offering to you. I am offering to you. You have done. And you take. I am free. So in this way, this is the way you can control Nirodhastu Ve Loka Veda Vyapara Nyasa. You can control your desires. You can control your dry desires and you become a real devotee. Now, next one. Tasmin Ananyata Tat Virudhishu Udasina Tacha Tasmin Ananyata Tat Virudhishu Udasina Tacha Tasmin Ananyata Tat Virudhishu Udasina Tacha This is the Sutra number 9th. Naradi making more explanations about Bhakti. He says, Tasmin Ananyata Tat Virodhishu Udasinata Cha. The meaning is, an exclusive devotion to him and indifference to all things that are obstacles to it. See the definition. This sutra is connected to the previous sutra. Previous sutra said Loka Veda Vyapara Nyasa. Cessation of all activities. Irrespective of it is a bodily or it is a <coughs> spiritual. And it means how is it possible? <clears throat> Naraji saying Tasmin Ananyata Exclusive devotion to him You are devotee If you are devotee then you are no more You are just devotee You are not human being You are not man You are not woman You are not father You are not mother you are not rich, you are not poor, just devotee. There are only two entities, you and God. There is no third one, you and God. Ananyata. This word, Ananya, exclusive. In Bhakti philosophy, in the Darshan of Bhakti, it is very famous. But this world, Ananya, has been contaminated. Contaminated. In India or any other part of the Earth planet. There are so many races, religions, caste, creeds. And everyone is faith somewhere. Anywhere. You 
have faith. Your faith may be any shape, any name of the God. It is okay. Should be. Any form, any name. Enough. Every name, every form is related to God. But there are some, so many people, they are making us misunderstood about an enemy. They always say, if you have belief in such God, then you don't respect other God. You see, what is happening in name of the religion? What is happening in the name of the God? All over the world. So nonsense. So deep, deep ignorance. Naraji says, listen to me. What Ananya is? Exclusive love, love for God. Love is always divine itself. The contaminate love, love. So there are people, they always, is, they always are trying to understand us. You have faith in this form, in this name of the God. So don't give respect to other God. See the ignorance. Insult other gods. There are so many gods. Naradi says, Tasmin Ananyata. That in name of the God, we can insult other deity of the God. We do not love them, but we can love a dog, a cat, a fellow, but because other God is God, so I don't, I cannot love other God because I am the real devotee of the this God. Ananya means the meaning in, in Sanskrit, Ananya, na other. It's understood in three levels. Na ananya. First, I am giving an example to you. It is very interesting and very funny. Uh, once it happened, very famous saint of India, his name was Tulsidas. Everyone knows Tulsidas, and everyone knows he was devotee of the Rama. Devotee of the Rama. Once he went to Vrindavan, Vrindavan the city of the Krishna, the main deity, the Krishna, Vake Vihari. So when Tulsidas reached there and everyone knows him, he was so famous. So everyone was talking, see, Tulsidad is walking in the Vrindavan. The people started making comments. See the Tulsidas, what he is doing here? He has lost his faith in the Rama. The people are making comments. Tulsidad was listening. There are so many people. They, they were saying that Tulsi, I think Tulsi Das had lost his faith in Rama. That is why he came to Krishna. And Tulsi Dadi was great devotee of the Lord. For him, there was no Rama. For him, there was no Krishna. Just, just Lord. He went the main temple. Bihariji. 
the priest was knowing Tulsidas. He said, Tulsidas, are you here? Why? You should go to Ayutthaya. He said, I have come to Ayutthaya. This is my Ayutthaya. And this deity is not Krishna. This is Rama. And he said to the Lord, Tulsidas said to the Lord, O Lord, for them, the people are making so much coming to me. They are not insulting me. They are insulting you too. So do something. I know you are one. Lord Rama and Krishna are not different. They are one. I know that. But they are ignorant people. Do something to make them understand. And it is said. Suddenly, the deity had changed. There was Ram with his arrow and bow. No Krishna. No flute. No peacock. Nothing. Ram. And Tushidas did Namaskara and said everyone, see, here is Ram. And after some time, Rama disappears. Krishna is there. So here is no difference between Rama and Krishna or other God, any name, any form. This is the Ananya. Every, every name and form of gods is same, related to same entity. Same God has taken so many forms. He can. He could. God is God. So sometimes whatever he likes, he can take. He can come, become Rama, Krishna, Vara, Plik, any, any, any form he can take. So devotees should understand Every form of the God is one. So respect every form of the God. Every religion of the God. Every, any, every concept of the God. You respect. Because God is one. This is the one Ananda. The second thing is not only deity, form of the gods are God. Everything, every stone, Every blade of the grass, every tree, everything are not apart from the God. Ananyata means everywhere, everything is God. Apart from the God, there is nothing. Only God is there. This is the second aspect of the Ananyata. Got it. In first aspect, every form of the God is only God. Second aspect is everything, not only God, even demon, trees, stones, stars, sun, moon, everything, everything, nothing apart from the God. God is playing in different shapes. This is the Ananyata. And third one is more high level. And this is I and God are not different. Na Anya, there is no other. I and God both are one. So in Ananya aspect, there are three aspects. Naradi saying, then Tasmin Ananyataha. So this feeling you should create. And Tat Virodhishu Udasinata. The next thing is he is saying Tat Virodhishu. Udasinata. That means God. Virodhi means obstacles. Narada is saying here clearly 
everything you got. Everywhere you got. But for a devotee should be very careful. A devotee should be very careful. There are so many conditions. There are so many people. There are so many relations. There are so many possessions who may become your obstacles in this way. Some relations, some possessions, some people would be your obstacles. If there are less obstacles, then you have to disconnect them. Here are so many examples. Just I remind you, there was Prala. His father was very big demons. And he was always thinking the welfare of the Prahlad. And Prahlad disconnect his father. He broke the, our relationship from the father. He renunciated father. I do not want father. Father should be respected. Our scriptures are always saying the Pitri Devo Bhava. Your father is like God. But this father, if becomes your obstacle in path of spirituality, it should be renounced. It should be renunciated. And same story with Bharat. Bharat renunciated his mother. The mother, Kaike, he was also he was also thinking the good for Bharat. But Bharat renunciated. So mother, father, brother, Vivishan renunciated his brother. Mother, father, brother, and even Gopika, they renunciated their husbands. Naraji says, obstacles should be removed. This is Udasinata. But don't hate. Remember, the world is very beautiful, very beautiful. Udasinata. Ignorance. Ignorance. Just ignore. No comment. No hate. No love. If you cannot love, you don't have any right to hate. So don't hate. If you hate someone, you are hate. You are doing hate with your God. Now next one. Anya Asrayanam Tyago Ananyataha Anya Asrayanam Tyago Ananyataha Anya Asrayanam Tyago Ananyataha Anya Asrayanam Tyago Ananyataha Naradi here giving definition of the Ananyataha. What Ananyataha? Very, very meaningful, very, very important word is Ananya. He says, exclusive devotion is abandonment of all other supports. Now see, what Ananya is? It is like you are taking insurance from any company, medical, Medical insurance. You take you take any, any insurance, but one insurance company is enough. You think I have insurance, I have medical. If I will become ill, this company will give me money. You have faith in company. So one company is enough. We are, not take, we are not taking so many insurance companies from this company, from that company, from that company. 
we should take one more company. We think if I have one insurance policy enough, the company will take my care. But when the matter comes to God, we do not believe. We believe even cats, dogs, my dog will protect me. When something will happen with me, my dog will protect me. My father, my mother, my sister, my family, my society, my police, my military will protect me. But you are no, you are aware that there is no one protector. That is why we believe there should be military, there should be police, family, society. The devotee is one who have a faith that God can protect me anywhere, in any condition. I do not want any other support. Anyasrayanam Tyagi. The real devotee has thought the God is enough. See, God is very, very powerful, omnipotent. And not only He is strongest in this universe. It is very compassionate, ocean of compassion. So always God wants your welfare. If something is happening wrong, it means we have done something wrong. That is why I am suffering. So don't blame to other person, don't blame to God and conditions, it is true that I have done something wrong, that is I am suffering something wrong. Our wrong suffering is proof I have done. Today, this is not visible, but seed has shown in previous lives. So real devotee always accepts God is good. Always with us. And whatever is good for us, God, God will do. Anya Sriyanam Tyago Ananyata Naraji says, a real devotee has full faith in God. A real devotee has one support. In Court of Dhritarashtra. The Draupadi was insulted. And she tried to find support from her husband. But conditions were so difficult. Her husbands were so strong but they could not do anything. They became quiet. Then he, she wanted support from the king for justice. The king also could not do anything. Then he tried to find out support from the Bishop Pitama, from the religion. But he was also not available to do something. And finally, he tried herself to protect. But she is not so strong to protect herself. Finally, she understood that no support will come to me 
I, I should take support, one support, absolute support, without condition support, everywhere the available support, and that support is support of the God. The support of the God everywhere available, for everyone, everywhere, without condition, God is available. And he chanted the name of the God, Dwarakadis. Immediately the Lord was there. If you have other support, if you want support from the God, you have to have full faith in the God. Your property is God. Your relations is God. Your father is God. Your mother is God. Your family is God. Everything for you is only God. Then they are real devotees. Your father is God. Your mother is God. Property, prestige, everything is in God. And God can play all roles in your life. Naraji is saying, Anyasrayanam Tyago Ananyata. So this is the meaning of Ananyata. Now, next one. Loka Vedeshu Tada Ankula Charanam Tad Virudeshu Buddha Shinata. Loka Vedeshu Tad Ankula Charanam Tad Virudeshu Buddha Shinata. Loka Vedeshu Tad Ankula Charanam Tad Virudeshu Buddha Shinata. See the translation. Indifference to obstacles consists in undertaking only such activity, whether of ordinary life or those enjoying in the Vedas, age are favorable to it. So that is why Naraji is saying, Loka Vedesu Tad Ankula Charanam. So for devotee. He is giving some guidelines. For devotee, he is saying, Loka Vedeshu. Loka means the worldly activity. Vedeshu, the spiritual activity. There are two types of activity. Some are physical level, other are mental level, spiritual level. So for devotee, he is giving some instructions. He is saying here the devotee should do activity. The devotee should do activity, but very carefully. First, you make and make clear that this activity will take you towards God. Then you do. First, you make it clear that. This activity of the worldly activity, like you are doing some charity, it will help. You are giving help something, someone, it will help. You are chanting mantra, you are doing japa, meditation, you are doing your duty properly. So first it will make clear that each activity will take you towards God. And simultaneously, you have to find out these activity will lead you to opposite God. This is your duty. You find out anyway from the scriptures, from the masters, and think these activities are good and these activities are not good. It may be bodily activity or it may be Spiritual activity, you will be surprised. Spiritual activity, it may be harmful. Yes, it may be harmful. Because in the spiritual, in Vedas, there are so many activities which can lead you towards opposite God. So, it does not mean all spiritual activities are good. So make sure that 
these activity will lead you towards God and these activities will lead you towards opposite God. Then Naraji says, you should do the activity and the Virodhi Shuddha Sinata, the other activity, the activity which can lead us opposite God, you should indifference. Don't hate. Narrative we making very clearly, don't hate even even anything. So don't hate. So this is today's talk. And uh, just I would like to inform you. Mita will then give you informations about. Uh, we will go to in Bhagavatam from 20th. Unfortunately, this program will be done in Hindi. But if I will get some time, I will brief, brief to you also. In Bhagavatam, there you could find Tattubhut, you could find Vivek Churamani and Narbhakti Sutra too. Everything is there, very deep. So I hope you can take part. And I try to give its message to you also. Om Puranamadaha Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachati Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Sankaracharyam Ishavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritau Vande Bhagavantau Puna Puna Isharu Guru Rakmiti Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vada Vyakta Dehaya Dakshina Murtai Namaha Om Shanti 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 Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasham Tato Jayamudhirai Om Shanti 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 Shanti